Hello and welcome to GWT authentication tutorials. In this episode, we will finally get token object from the server. Finally, so let's start preparing what's left. Uh, we need to create a control that we will create on it uh, the uh, an API uh, using the post rest. So let's just delete this tutorial, uh, this controller. And we will generate another controller. So, as usual, we need a terminal. Let's say PHP. So generate controller. We say Appendle Project. This will be our project controller. We we'll use annotations. And that's it. Yes, we confirm generation. So now we have product controller. We will need to make some changes in this controller to adapt it with post rest controller. So uh, let's change this. We will uh, in post rest. You don't need to use controller. We need to use the uh, controller of post rest. So, and we need to implement the class resources resource. I'm sorry, class what's it? Class resource interface. So now we need to prepare uh, an API that will return all our products. This uh, API we will use it in the Angular 2. So let's create a REST view. We need to import this REST also. Use And the controller and the annotations as rest. So this rests. Now we will create our function. We will say C, C get, which means uh, C stands for collections, which means we will get all the products as collections, not just one. If you want to return one, you just remove the C. So, we need to add action, and that's it. Now, we will return all of our data. So there we go. We have we have our uh, slash API slash products. So with that we will have the slash products in the URL, URL, and we have already here in the routing this slash API. So it will be slash API slash products to get this. This is done automatically by rest so now our controller is ready we will try to interact with the server in order to get an object but first we need to change here this provider since we are trying to get uh, a token object from the server we need to provide a username and the password and they need to be a valid username and the password but we're not going to use uh, users from database. We will uh, tell Symfony to provide us with users and to put them in memory. So we, will, we just use them to test our, uh, our uh, GWT authentication bundle. So here in memory, we're going to add users to our uh, Symfony. 
projects and we, we could test with them. So users, here you type your username. Type the username you want, so you could type Sparta. And here we type your password. I'm gonna say dev and okay and uh, we could add a row also I'm gonna say row user so with that we uh, we added a username uh, called Sparta and the password also we need to add the encoder another parameter parameters with the providers this encoders is for uh, the password how you're gonna encode your password which algorithm you're gonna use to encode your password we're gonna say plain text which means we this uh, it won't change nothing we were not gonna use an algorithm there is many options you could type bcrypt etc you could look for them in the symphony documentation so symphony component and plain text so everything looks fine I think of our provider and our plain text okay. so I think we are good to go uh, and uh, in order to interact with the server and pass the username and the password information to our API slash login check we need to use curl I'm gonna use curl so uh, if you don't have it we need to add it in order to use it of course so uh, if you type here curl if you got nothing not recognized you need to add it so this is the curl uh, page here we could download our curl this is the URL so we need to go here then this we need to choose this version then generic and this version this will give us the curl so you hit download and then download it and uh, extract it wherever you want after that you, you need to add it to the, the environment path as usual we go here we go edit and like this like I did you type new and you add it in my case it's here so this folder this is what you downloaded you go to the bin folder you have curl here you copy this and then you add it here same as this and that's it and in the command line you could use curl now uh, if you're gonna use it through php storm you need to restart php storm of course so you need to exit and then open php storm in order to use curl if it's your first time so i'm going to choose terminal we're going to create a new terminal Uh, we need to start the server first, so in order to interact with it, so we're gonna say PHP okay. server start and run in my case, okay. So we have a running server and then I'm gonna interact with it. So I'm gonna say curl x post, it's a post request. Then we put the localhost port slash API slash login check. This is our login check. After that, you provide the information. Username, this is Sparta. 
and another parameter is password equal to that. So these information are and this security because here yeah, because this is the user provided by somebody. So let's test this. We have a bad credentials. So this is because of uh, because of these parameters that we added here in the form login. This is the login form using the API login. We are not saying that we are providing parameters like username and password. We need to add them so that uh, this uh, post request could get this username Sparta and the password here. So I need to add here username parameter. Let's say username and the password. And let's try it again. And that's it. We have the token. This is our token here. All of it. It's generated by the private data, etc. from GWT. So with that, we could access our APIs in the server. If we don't provide a token, a valid token, we couldn't get the APIs like this one. So we will see that in uh, next tutorial why we will use Angular and we will get the token and we will pass that token through the header in our request to get the information from the API. So, see you guys in the next tutorial.